morning, everyone. Welcome to Tech Tuesdays. My name is Jose Cintron, and I am with Florida Vision Technology. Today, we are going to be talking about a new device in the market called the Victor Reader Stream 3. Before we do that, and before we get into the actual demonstration, I'm going to go through what's in the box. I'm going to go over just some general information of the product, and then we're going to dive right into it. So let's take a look at the box, right? Uh, the Victory to Stream 3 is the third generation, the third Victory to Stream generation uh, de uh, developed by Humanware. Uh, if you've ever felt or seen the previous Victory to Stream second generation, you'll get an idea of what it looks like. It's very similar in looks, and you're going to see that in just a little bit. Uh, when you get the box and you open it up, you feel like it's very like well-packed. It's very nice in design. Um, inside, you're going to find your, your Victory to Stream 3 product. Uh, you're going to find a little print manual, and underneath all that, we have our, let's see what we got going on here. We have our AC adapter for connecting it to the wall. We have our USB Type-C charging cable, which I'm really happy about that because, as you know, in the previous Victor Stream model, it was using a micro USB, and a lot of people were having trouble figuring out which way to plug in their cable. So the USB Type-C makes that a heck of a lot easier. We have different heads, uh, depending on what country you live in or what country you reside in, or if you're gonna travel outside the country, you can travel with your device and make sure it's always powered up. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. So we have different heads. We have our power cable, our wall adapter, um, and that's all I'm seeing in here. Uh, it's important to note that the previous Victor Reader devices, they did come with a case. This device does not come with a case. Um, and once you feel it in your hands, you'll understand why it does not need a case. It's actually very rugged in design. I'm just packing everything back in the box before I uh, show you the actual device itself. There we go. Make it looks nice and packed in there. Cool. So now I'm gonna hold up the Victor Reader Stream 3 in front of my camera. And for those of you who cannot see it, it's pretty much the same layout as the previous model, right? So on the front face, you have your telephone style keypad. Above the one, two, and the three, you have your square circle diamond. So your go to, your mode button, and your bookmarks button. Below that, again, you have your telephone style keypad. Underneath your telephone style keypad, you have your sleep button, which also tells you the date and time. And below that, you have your play slash pause. To the left, you have your rewind, and to the right, you have your fast forward. Now, when you're filling the buttons on this device, they feel very tactile. They're larger than the previous models, and they actually, they feel very rubbery, right? So they're very durable. Now, on the two, four, six, and eight, we have an arrow facing up, an arrow facing left, right, and down. On the five, you have those two bumps that you usually see on a telephone style keypad, letting you know where the five is located. Um, on the rewind and the fast forward buttons towards the bottom, those actually have an arrow facing left that you can feel and an arrow facing right that you can also feel. Now, along the left edge of the unit towards the top, you have your power button, your volume up, and then your volume down. On the right edge of the unit, you have your record button, right? On the top of the device, on previous models, you had your SD card slot and your 3.5 millimeter jack. This device does not have that. So on the top of this device, you do have an SD card slot, but what's cool about this is that the SD card slot has a rubber lid. So when you pop your SD card in there, the rubber lid covers it, and you don't have to worry about accidentally ejecting your SD card. Now, the headphone jack is actually located at the bottom of the unit. So at the bottom panel of your unit, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack to connect the headphone jack physically to your device. You have your USB type C port for charging, and then you have your speakers, right? So it's very cool in design. Um, on the back of the unit, uh, you, if you feel it, it actually has like uh, an outline of a rectangle. So you could sit it on the table and the rectangle is actually rubbery. So when I sit on the table, you can hear, it sounds like I'm erasing, like using an eraser. So it's rubbery, so it has that grip so it doesn't slide around the table. Now my device is turned on and when you first turn on your Victor Reader Stream 3, you're in your offline mode, right? So this device has offline and online mode. So I'm gonna press the circle just to show you how I can toggle between the two different modes. So if I press the circle above the number two, 
Offline bookshelf. So it's offline bookshelf. If I press it again. Offline bookshelf. Notes. Three. Notes. My notes. One. Okay. I'm going to press one more time. Online bookshelf. Podcast. One. Podcast feed. Right. One. TED Talks Daily HD video. Okay. Three. Gabriel Lopez Lopez Cafferty joined this channel. So we have offline bookshelf and we have online bookshelf. So I'm going to go back to my offline bookshelf. Offline bookshelf. Gabriel Lopez Cafferty joined this channel. Notes. All right. So here we are on the offline bookshelf. Now, the offline bookshelf allows us to access our SD cards where we might have talking books, uh, MP3 files for music. We might have text files or audio recordings that we record on the device itself. And here you said it, here you heard it say notes and it says three notes. And I could go between those three notes by pressing four and six, just like I would on the previous Victor Reader devices. Two, three, one. And if I wanna play one of those notes, I just go down to the bottom where I have my play slash pause button. I'm gonna press that. Paul. Jimmy writes at 954-555-1268. End of note. Okay, let's go hit number six, go to note two. Two. Picked up milk, eggs, and a loaf of bread from the supermarket. End of note. I'm going to hit number six again. Three. Call my tutor to schedule tutoring for my math class this Friday. End of note. Right. So that's really cool. So with the Victory to Stream 3, I can record notes. And if you can't see the screen um, right now, well, I guess you wouldn't be able to see it even if you could see the screen. Uh, right now, this is connected to a Bluetooth speaker. So that's how you're hearing it so well. The previous models did not have that capability. So I'm actually playing these audio files on a Bluetooth speaker that's across the room for me. And that's how you're hearing it right now, right? So now we have Bluetooth technology on this device. So if you're wearing a Bluetooth headset or a Bluetooth speaker to listen to your audiobooks, it's all possible now uh, to do it externally on this device. Um, the SD card on here is up to a terabyte of storage, right? So that's that's huge. If you think about how many books you can put on a terabyte, I mean, that's, that's a lot of books, right? Um, so right now, I was just showing you how we can listen to audio notes, but how do we record audio notes? Well, I'm going to press that record button on the right edge, and let's see what happens. Start recording. All right, so this is my note number four. I have an appointment at 11 o'clock uh, with uh, John Smith. And I'm going to press that button again to end the recording. Stop recording. Note four created. And now we have note four. So let's press the number six to get to note four. Four. Here we go. All right, so this is my note number four. I have an appointment at 11 o'clock uh, with uh, John Smith. And I'm gonna press that button again to end the recording. End of note. Yeah, that sounds really good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the quality of that audio, but it's super nice. Like it's very clear, it's very crisp, and it sounds even better on that Bluetooth speaker, right? So the offline bookshelf, again, allows us to access files on our SD card. And again, that could be text files. It could be talking books. It could be audio files. Um, this device now supports a, a cool file managing system. So previous Victor Reader devices wouldn't allow you to do folders and subfolders. The Victor Reader Stream 3 now allows you to organize your files and, uh, within folders and navigate through your folders, right? Um, so now I'm going to press the uh, circle button above the number two to go to our online bookshelf. Online bookshelf. Podcast one. Podcast feed one. TED Talks daily HD video. Ted. Three new episodes. Now, the online bookshelf allows us to access different media sources such as internet radio, podcasting, uh, Wikipedia, NFB Newsline, uh, NLS Bard, and Bookshare. And once you have those services on your device, all you would do is to toggle between, between the different services is press the number one. So I'm gonna hit one real quick. Bookshare, one, book. So here, Search for books. Here you hear it says Bookshare. I'm gonna press one again. Internet radio, one, playlist. One, human where playlist, international. Press it again. References, zero, books. 
Search on Wikipedia. Right, so that's really cool to search on Wikipedia right off your victory to stream three. I'm gonna press one again. Podcast one, podcast feed one. TED Talks Daily HD video. TED three, new episodes. I'm gonna press one one more time so I hear it say Bookshare. Bookshare one, book. Search for books. So right now it says there's one book and then it says search for books. So if I hit four or six to uh, navigate on that bookshelf. One. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so it says The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. That's my book number one. And it's already downloaded to my device. So if I want to play this, I could just simply press the play button at the bottom of my unit. The autumn of last year and found him in deep conversation with a very stout, florid-faced, elderly gentleman with fiery red hair. And then I could pause it by pressing that button again. I could press the left arrow to rewind. I could press the right arrow to fast forward. And I can also navigate through this book um, by pages, by bookmarks, by different uh, navigation uh, levels, right? So that's really cool. But let's see how easy it is to search for a book. So I'm gonna press the number one. Bookshare, one, book. So we're back in our one. Bookshare shelf. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I'm gonna press the number six until I hear it say search for book. Search for books. There we go. And now I'm gonna press confirm, which is the pound key underneath my nine. Most popular. And here you can hear it say most popular books. Let's press six. Most recent. Most recent books. Browse categories. We can browse by categories. Previous downloads. Uh, we can search by downloads that we've downloaded before. Title search. We can search by titles. Full text search. So we can search for full text. So if we want to put like keywords to find a specific book, we can do that as well. Author search. We can search by authors. Uh, which I you know, normally when I'm looking for a book, I like to search by authors instead of keywords because if you just put in keywords. It's going to bring up so many different options, right? And I like to narrow down my searches by author or by title. So navigating books on this device is super easy. You know, we just connect to Wi-Fi, uh, put our credentials in for that service. Um, once our credentials are in, we can then search for, download, and read books right on the device. And we can do that with again with Bookshare, NFB Newsline, and NLS, NLS Bard. And they're super easy to set up. Um, they're very convenient. Um, you know, if you use Bluetooth hearing aids, we have the Bluetooth technology to connect. Uh, you know, if you want to use an external speaker, again, we have the Bluetooth technology to connect. Um, if you just want to directly connect your headset to the device, you have that 3.5 millimeter jack at the bottom of your unit. So previously, when you received a, a Victory to Stream, you always got an SD card. Well, this device no longer comes with an SD card, but that's because now we have 16 gigs of built-in internal storage to download your books directly to your unit. If you want to buy an SD card, again, it does support up to one terabyte storage, which again, that's a lot of text files, a lot of audio recordings, and a lot of books, right? A lot of people are using this type of device for school, Maybe they want to record their class lectures, or maybe they are at work and they want to record a meeting or just take audio notes. Maybe there's a phone number they need to jot down really quick and it's easier for them just to press the record button, save the number, and then come back and listen to it. Victory to Stream retail price is $550. Right now, we have it on sale for $50 off until the end of April. So if you call us, you can go ahead and take advantage of that discount. Uh, that's $50 off until the end of April for people who are viewing this today. Um, so call us at 1-800-981-5119. Again, that's 1-800-981-5119. Or go ahead and shoot us a email at jose at floridareading.com. That's J-O-S-E at floridareading.com. And that is spelled out. And we would love to go ahead and hook you up with a Victory to Stream 3. It comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty. I know a lot of people always ask about that. It has about a 15-hour battery on the device itself. Uh, depending on use, you might be able to get a little more out of it. Again, it is USB Type-C for charging, so you don't have to worry about breaking the charging port or putting your cable in incorrectly. It does not come with a case, and again, that's because the design of this device is super rugged. Um, again, on the back of it, you have that rubber rectangle. That way, it doesn't slide around the table.
<laughs> and the buttons are super tactile. They are large. They feel really nice in your hand. You know, me as a person who buys blindness products because I am blind myself, I like to feel things in my hand. Um, I like to feel like they feel valuable, you know? And when I hold this device, I definitely feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Anyways, guys, that's it for this demonstration for today. I don't know what we have on the schedule for next week for Tech Tuesdays, but I look forward to seeing those of you who will be joining us next week. Uh, we will have another really super cool device that we will be going over and talking about and hopefully having another promotion for that as well. Again, my name is Jose. I'm with Florida Vision Technology. If you're interested in anything that we have to uh, offer our clients, go ahead and give us a call at 1-800-981-5119. If you're interested in seeing something in person, uh, we do have representatives all over the state of Florida, as well as Georgia. So if you live in any of those areas, we would definitely love to uh, hook you up with one of our representatives. That way they can show you products in person and you can try them out for yourselves. Again, our number is 1-800-981-5119. And if you'd like to email me any questions about the products, my email address is jose at floridareading.com. That's J-O-S-E at floridareading.com. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up.